Finishing a game is a great feeling. You get to bask in your accomplishment, watch the credits roll, and move on to the next adventure. But then the analysis paralysis sets in. With so many quality games to buy and even more stuck in your backlog, how do you choose what to play next? Luckily for you, there are plenty of terrific experiences to jump into after finishing Still Wakes the Deep. These titles share various aspects with the Chinese Rooms project, delivering horror and adventure gameplay in equal measure. Without further ado, here are five games to play if you like Still Wakes the Deep. At number five, we have Subnautica. Subnautica is a game where players explore the ocean's depths, discovering new plants and animals as they go. It features gameplay similar to Minecraft, letting you toggle between modes that prioritize freedom or action. For the hardcore players, there are survival mechanics, forcing you to manage aspects of your character like hunger and oxygen. While not usually attempting to scare its audience, Subnautica does feature some frightening creature designs. They aren't all friendly either, forcing you to defend yourself or run away. This frantic survival gameplay keeps players on their toes and can create some tense moments that you won't soon forget. Number four, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Everybody's Gone to the Rapture is another adventure title developed by the Chinese Room. When an entire town's inhabitants disappear, it is up to you to search for them, and uncovering their stories will shed light on how the rapture occurred in the first place. The plot has been praised for its depth and willingness to cover uncomfortable subjects through the lens of interactive entertainment. When it launched in 2015, it received various accolades for its writing, helping to push the walking simulator genre further into the public consciousness. If you're looking for a game that delivers a compelling story or trying to introduce non-gamers to the power of the medium, this may be the one for you. Number three, Dead Space. Stuck on the spaceship USG Ishimura, Clark must use his surrounding tools to fend off the violent monsters aboard. Obvious alien influences aside, Dead Space brings plenty of unique ideas to the table. Its most iconic contribution to gaming is its enemies, the necromorphs. Instead of popping heads with conventional firearms like in Resident Evil, Isaac employs his maintenance equipment to sever their limbs before stomping on them into a bloody pulp. The game was previously locked to 7th gen consoles, but the 2023 remake revitalized the horror for fans new and old alike. At number two, we have Until Dawn. If you're looking for a cinematic horror title, it's hard to go wrong with Until Dawn. You could show a handful of friends stuck on a snowy mountain forced to fend off attacks from monsters and mysterious killers. Supermassive's 2015 Scarefest pays tribute to the tropes of horror films, poking fun at the genre's inherent schlock. Gameplay is de-emphasized in Until Dawn, mostly relying on quick time events and decision making to move the plot forward. This results in various branching story paths, encouraging replays to see what could have happened differently. If you find yourself hooked by the formula, Supermassive has made a bunch of other games in the same style, but Until Dawn is considered their greatest greatest achievement. At number one, it is none other than Bioshock. The original Bioshock is a seminal video game, one that managed to stand out even among the other amazing experiences launched in 2007. Players take on a journey underwater and discover Rapture, a utopia created by Andrew Ryan for elites to escape the rules of everyday society. Here, you acquire special powers called plasmids, which you use to fight off hostile citizens and big daddies. Bioshock presents more complex themes than your typical first-person shooter. Its world is filled with allusions to prominent philosophical minds such as George Orwell and Ayn Rand. You're also encouraged to engage with their ideologies in between firefights, creating a deeper narrative that was common for games at the time. If you haven't taken the trip to Rapture yet, we can't recommend it enough. Let us know in the comments what you're looking to play next after you finish Still Wakes the Deep. And as well, head over to thegamer.com for the full list of 10 games to play if you like Still Wakes the Deep.